We have been learning about great ideas and what a difference a great idea can make. In activities one and two, you learned about how a great idea can help you come up with a clever solution to a problem. In our story, Tippy Toe Chick Go, Little Chick had the clever solution. She tricked the dog by having him chase her around and around the tree. The dog was stuck and the chicks were able to get to the garden to get their sweet treats. Now that was a clever solution. This week and next, we are gonna focus on the question, how do we solve mysteries? In order to solve a mystery, we need a great idea. How could you solve a mystery? Are there tools that you could use? Something I do when I'm trying to solve a mystery is look for clues. Think about a time where you might have lost something, like a toy. You might come up with a clever idea to look for clues or evidence. You might have wondered what happened and then asked questions to try and solve the mystery. As we are reading today, I want you to continue thinking about how we can solve mysteries. The characters in our story have a mystery that they need to solve. Our learning target today is we will read closely, talk, and write to identify what mystery Dot and Jabber are trying to solve. We will read our story together. Throughout the story, we will stop, ask questions, and discuss what we have read. We will show our learning by writing about the text. Let's look at the success criteria for our writing. We will need to start with a topic sentence. In activity one, you worked with Ms. Johnson and Ms. Helton on how to form a topic sentence. You learn that you need to be able to answer the question in order to form the topic sentence. Today, your topic sentence will name the mystery Dot and Jabber are trying to solve. Next, you need at least one sentence to provide key details. In your writing today, your detail sentence will explain why it is a mystery. Last, you need a sentence to close your writing. Your sentence needs to pull all of your details together and restate your topic sentence. The story that we are going to start reading today is Dot and Jabber and the Great Acorn Mystery. This story is an informational fiction. The word fiction tells us that the story is fake or make-believe. The word information tells us that the story will also give us facts. This story is a mystery about trees and how they grow. In this story, you will hear elements of fiction, such as animal characters that talk, but you will also read factual information about acorns and oak trees. We are gonna read this story together. We will stop, discuss, and ask questions to check for understanding as we are reading. We're gonna get started on page 100 and see how this mystery begins. The detectives had nothing to do. We need a mystery to solve, said Jabber. Here's a mystery, said Dot. What is this little oak tree doing here? So already on this page, the characters tell us that they're gonna be detectives and they're gonna solve a mystery. They also tell us what the mystery is. We're gonna read page 101 to find out why this is a mystery. Why is that a mystery? Jabber wanted to know. Because of the acorn, said Dot. How did it get here? Dot, said Jabber, what acorn? So as I look back at this page, in the text I see quotations. Quotation marks let me know that someone is talking. So Dot asks, how did it get here? I know Dot is telling us this is a mystery because they don't know how the acorn got there. But Jabber is confused because he doesn't see an acorn. Let's keep reading to find out what dot means about the acorn on page 102. Acorns are oak tree seeds. This little oak tree grew from an acorn. The acorns come from big oak trees. Oh, that acorn, said Jabber. But where's the big oak tree? So on this page, where did dot say the little oak tree came from? That's right, Dot tells us that acorns are oak tree seeds. And if you plant an acorn, it would grow a new oak tree. I notice Jabber says, but where's the big oak tree? I also wonder why there is a little oak tree that grew from an acorn, but there's no big oak trees around. 
Let's keep reading to see if what we clues we can find out on page 103. That's part of the mystery, said Dot. Let's look for clues. Okay, shouted Jabber, because we're detectives. He poked his head into a hole. So Dot says that they're looking for clues. Why would they be looking for clues? Yes, because they're detectives and they want to solve the mystery. Let's keep reading page 104 and 105 to find what clues they can find out. Hey, this is my hole, said a mole. Go away. There are no clues down here. Try the big oak tree on the other side of the meadow. Of course, said Dot. Come on, Jabber. So on these two pages, did they find any clues or any information that might help them to solve their mystery? Yes, Mole gave them important information. He told them that the big oak tree was on the other side of the meadow. I think that's really important for us to know. Where do you think Dot and Jabber will go look for clues now? Let's read page 106 and 107 to see if you're right. That's a long, long way, said Jabber. How did our acorn get from there to here? Do you think it walked? Let's find out, said Dot. The acorn began at the big oak tree, so will we. The detective set off across the meadow. So on these two pages, where did Dot and Jabber go look for the new clues? Yes, they set off to the other side of the meadow. Did you notice on these two pages what makes the little oak tree such a mystery? The oak tree is on the other side of the meadow, which is very far from the little oak tree. And the little oak tree needed an acorn to grow. How did the acorn from the big oak tree get to the other side of the meadow? This sure is a mystery. We're going to read two more pages today to find out more clues that will help us to try and solve the mystery at the end. After a while, Jabber said, I'm tired. Can we wonder about all these maple seeds instead? There's no mystery in maple seeds, said Dot. They have wings that twirl and they ride the wind across the meadow. Maybe our acorn rode the wind too, said Jabber. That is what we are going to find out, said Dot. So on 108 and 109, Dot and Jabber are asking each other questions to try and solve the mystery. They find some maple seeds as they're crossing the meadow. And Dot tells us that maple seeds have wings and the wind blows them across the meadow. And so now they're wondering if acorns can travel the same way as maple seeds. What do you think? We'll see and find out. So um, we're gonna use what we read today to help us answer these two questions. What mystery are Dot and Jabber trying to solve and why is this a mystery? As we were reading today, we stopped and talked and discussed all the information that we read. We found out that Dot and Jabber are trying to solve the mystery of the little oak tree. As we read, we found out that it is a big mystery because oak trees grow from an acorn. I remember as we were reading, we didn't see a big oak tree. We kept reading and found out that they could find the big oak tree across the meadow. They looked for clues as they walked to the other side of the meadow. Dot and Jabber are still trying to figure out how an acorn was able to get across the meadow to grow a new oak tree. Today, we are going to write and answer what the mystery is and why is it a mystery? Your writing needs to have a topic sentence that answers what the mystery is. You also need to write one or two sentences to explain why this is a mystery. You need to use evidence that we pulled out of the story to answer this. You will end with a sentence to close all of your information together. You will also need to use our success criteria checklist that we use in all of our writing, which is, Every sentence needs to start with a capital letter and end with a punctuation mark. Everything needs to be written neatly. You need to write in complete sentences and you need to use evidence from the text. 
let's look at this example to see how to use evidence from the text to add key details in your writing. Dot and Jabber are trying to solve the mystery of how a little oak tree grew when there were no big oak trees around. This is a mystery because an oak tree grows from an acorn that comes from a big oak tree. Dot and Jabber find a big oak tree, but it is on the other side of the meadow. So let's take a little bit of a closer look at the detail sentences that we can find in this sample writing. I'm going to underline the detail sentences that come right after the topic sentence. So this says, this is a mystery because an oak tree grows from an acorn that comes from a big oak tree. Dot and Jabber find a big oak tree, but it is on the other side of the meadow. So in this sample writing, they wrote two detail sentences to make sure they were able to fully explain why the little oak tree is a mystery. These detail sentences expand upon the topic sentence, telling more about the mystery using the evidence they found in the text. When you write your detail sentence, make sure you use what you learned and the clues that we pulled out of the story. Now, are you ready for a challenge? We've been talking all about being a good detective. Here's your opportunity to tell your opinion about being a good detective. Have you ever uncovered a mystery in the outdoors? Did you want to solve the mystery? Today, I challenge you to think about this question. Would you like to be a detective and solve a mystery like Dot and Jabber? Tell your opinion to a friend or a family member, but be sure to tell your reasons and evidence to support your opinion. For an extra challenge, you may write your opinion after telling it to a friend and family member. Make sure you use our Oreo graphic organizer that you can see here. Opinion, reason, explanation using text evidence, and opinion. Let's review what we did today. We learned what sound OU and OW spell. We read words with all of these patterns and then read a passage using high frequency words and the OW sound. We discussed great ideas and how they can help us when we are trying to solve a mystery or find a solution to a problem. We read half of our story dot and jabber and discussed what mystery they are trying to solve and why it is a mystery. We used information and clues from our story to write detailed sentences. I gave you a challenge to share your opinion about being a new detective. In activity four, we will read the rest of Dot and Jabber and write our opinion. <laughs>